The Polar Code extension lets you capture good-looking screenshots of your code, pretty much just as it appears within VS Code. Here I'm going to install the extension. And now let's go back to a code file here. And I'm going to, in the command palette, which I'm going to open using Control-Shift-P on Windows and Linux, or Command-Shift-P on Mac, I'm going to type in Polar Code and run the Polar Code command. Now, Polar Code previews whatever lines of text you have selected. So if I wanted to preview this line of text here, I'm just going to select that, whoops, select that, and you can see that over in the Polar Code view here, it is actually previewing what the generated screenshot would look like. Let's make this a little bit larger so we get none of the wrapping going on there. And I can adjust my selection. You can see that as I make the selection, things adapt dynamically. I could select the entire file if I really wanted to, or I could select something very simple, so just something like a few words there. But let's go and select this block here. And if once everything is looking good, all I have to do to actually create the screenshot is click this little button down here, the capture icon. And now it's captured the image and it's gonna ask me, where do I wanna save this? I'm actually gonna save this to my current uh, directory, which is VS Code. And I'm gonna call this code PNG, looks good. Now let's go open the code PNG file, which I just saved. And sure enough, the resulting image exactly matches what we're seeing in Polar Code. So you can see that this does have the um, uh, container, the white space, and, and the wrapping around the code. These are things that you can disable if you want, but it does provide a reasonable default presentation of everything. And the code here is looking pretty much just like it did in the editor. So that's pretty cool. Now we can go back here and whatever um, is shown in the VS Code editor, Polar Code will pretty much try to render that. So if we go and change the color theme here, let's do Monokai. Now when I update my selection, you can see that Polar Code is now using that new color theme. And even things like italics and the underlining are also being rendered in Polar Code. If I went and changed my font, that should also be used by Polar Code so that I get all the nice ligatures and all those types of things as well in my screenshots. Polar Code is really useful though if you ever want to share an image of your code. So maybe you're posting it somewhere or you need it for a presentation. If you have a use case for that, definitely give Polar Code a try.